don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Hi, I'm Professor Steve Gideon from one of the largest entrepreneurship programs in the world at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada. But today, we're coming from the deep woods to give you hunting advice. Here we are in northern Ontario, out in the, out in the bush. Before we get started, I'd like to thank my good friend, Professore Matteo Vignoli. He's a design thinking expert from Bologna, Italy, where he first introduced me to the idea of a lot of these analogies of hunting as a metaphor for that searching that you're doing using entrepreneurial effectuation based tools. First piece of advice is use what you can. You know, art is a great way to really deeply remember an image and, and, and keep these entrepreneurial principles in your mind. So what better artistic vision than Michelangelo's Davide, one of the most amazing sculptures on the face of the planet, currently located at the Academia in Florence. Now David was just a young boy. He didn't have much to work with. He had a rock and a sling, and he was up against Goliath, the most powerful warrior of his generation. And David has really become known as a symbol of entrepreneurship. Armed with only his own belief in himself and his character and the righteousness of his cause, he went out to face Goliath alone, a young boy with a sling and a rock. And he beat him. And he's become a symbol of all entrepreneurs, that David can beat these tech titans. But the thing is, this is the bird in the hand principle. It starts with who you are, belief in yourself, and using what you can. David knew how to use a sling, but you can learn all kinds of great, wonderful tools and skills and knowledge and attitudes that you can do to slay your own Goliath. Use the right tool. You have to use whatever's at hand, but one of the biggest things that entrepreneurs have is their mind. This is the second entrepreneurial principle we talked about, that use the right tool. If you're doing divergent thinking, use divergent tools. If you're using convergent thinking, use convergent tools. Make sure that you're using the right tools for the right time. You might not have a lot, but what you have is your mind. Always be prepared. <laughs> and who can't forget this one? Here we have Indiana Jones in the Raiders of the Lost Ark and one of the most memorable scenes of the movie. Here, Harrison Ford is feeling miserable. He's sweating, he's having a bad day that day. He's actually quite sick. He's just about ready to go into a very long scene where he has to fight this guy over here on a, on a there's gonna be a couple of hours of filming to fight this big guy over here. Instead, he was just so tired, he pulled out a gun and said, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. The director loved it. Harrison Ford got to sleep that night. The extension is use the right tool. Take care of your weapon. This comes out of the Marines as well too, that you know how the Marines are always assembling and reassembling their gun and they can do it at night and they can do it with their eyes closed and they're always cleaning their weapon and make sure they've got ammunition. When your primary means of survival is your gun, love your gun, take good care of your gun. For an entrepreneur, your primary means of survival is your mind. Take good care of your mind. Take good care of your reason. Take good care to understand, know, and learn your entrepreneurial principles, knowledge, skills, and attitudes. This will always treat you well when you're out hunting. And finally, never go hunting alone. You never know what you're going to run into. So you need to hunt in a pack. You're looking for weak signals when you're out hunting. If you're looking for a rabbit and you're going in one direction or the other, you know, the twig might not be that broken or the trail might not be very strong. So it helps when you're with a bunch of other people. This third entrepreneurial principle of radical collaboration is also true when you're interviewing potential customers and users. That while one person is focusing on developing empathy and making a connection with the possible customer or user, you need your partner there with you to be taking notes and making sure that you asked all the questions. This comes out of the third entrepreneurial principle, radical collaboration and radical candor. <laughs> Never stop hunting. This really comes out of the entrepreneurial skill set of alertness, proactivity, curiosity, 
networking. You're always selling. You're always pitching. You're always talking, talking, talking. Never let it sleep. You're always proactively practicing in order to build those skills. Think like your prey is the next one. <laughs> this is user centricity. Put your feet in the shoes of the person that you're trying to understand. Walk a mile in their shoes if you're trying to get to know your users. You want to develop an emotional understanding and develop insight into the people that you're trying to make a connection with. A couple of tools to use here would be the customer profile canvas and the value proposition canvas. User centricity. Think like your prey. Here's another one. Follow the flow. Doesn't matter where you think the prey is going to be. You might think the prey is going to be over here or over there. But you got to follow the tracks. You have to follow them where they are. Doesn't matter what you think. You have to follow the paths that they make. You have to follow the trails. And eventually they all congregate at the same watering holes. You might not find the prey that you thought you were following there, but you'll see other animals there instead. And you'll see that maybe instead of a deer, there'll be an antelope or something like that. So if you're trying to figure out where your users are going, follow their signals, go to their blogs, follow their influencers, go to the conferences that they go to, read the magazines that they read to. Very important point when you're not just trying to understand and get into the mindset of your users, but also trying to figure out like where do you find them in the first place. Finally, last piece of advice, you have to eat your prey. Now, this means really share the wealth that, you know, once you've got a, a big fish, you got to find a way to take it home before all the other animals decide, hey, you've got a big fish, I want to take it from you. So share the wealth with your partners. Dig the well before you want to drink from it. Be sure that you're good to the people who came with you and that you're helping out everybody else because the next time you might not be able to eat, you'll be darn sure happy that they're sharing with you. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you found this to be an entertaining video. Don't forget, entrepreneurship's like learning how to play the guitar. Turn it up to 11.